Hi, this is an overview of our recent attempts to endow inference systems with metacognition, the ability to reason about reasoning. Why would we want to do that? Well, let's use automated image labeling as an example. Some images are easier to interpret than others. Recognizing easy images allows us to route them through fewer and simpler components of the labeling system, improving efficiency. Also, understanding some images requires specialized knowledge. Branching architectures allow components to specialize. In the systems we study, information propagates until a routing decision needs to be made. At every junction, a routing subnetwork regresses a utility score for each available path, and the signal continues along the highest scoring path. This process is repeated until an output is generated. So, different inputs may activate different subnetworks. We can learn the parameters of a system like this by replacing the deterministic routing policy, selecting the path with the highest score with the stochastic one, and minimizing the expected cost of inference errors and expended computational resources using stochastic gradient descent. We call this the actor learning strategy. Alternatively, we can try to directly predict the utility of every routing decision, minimizing the expected cost of inference errors and utility regression errors. We call this the critic learning strategy. Under both strategies, networks learn routing policies to cope with the computational constraints imposed upon them, and layers and branches specialize to process certain classes of inputs. This allows dynamically routed networks to be more efficient than comparable statically routed networks. They also tend to find simpler solutions first, reducing overfitting. In our paper, we propose regularization techniques, optimization techniques, and a method for adapting to changing computational resource constraints. We test our ideas by studying over 150 dynamically routed networks. You can find links to our paper and software repository in the video description. Thanks for listening.